Welcome to the Jim Florentine Comedy Metal Midgets Podcast. I'm RiotCast.com. Uh, New Year's Eve. I'm doing a show at the Mount Airy Casino in Mount Pocono, Pennsylvania. If you got no plans New Year's Eve and you live in that area. And uh, Comedy Connection in Providence, Rhode Island, December 18th, 19th. I'll be doing some shows. January 2nd, Montage Music Hall with Eddie Trunk and Don Jameson in Rochester, New York. And then January 8 and 9, Boca Black Box Comedy Club, Boca Raton, Florida. And January 13th through 16th, Stanford's Comedy Club in Overland Park, Kansas with Don Jameson. And then uh, August, tw- I mean, January 22nd, 23rd, whatever that weekend is, uh, the Comedy Works in Albany, New York, and Saratoga Springs, New York. All that shit will be up on my website, jimflorentine.com. I know it's coming close to Christmas. You're going to shop, go to Amazon, click on my Amazon button on jimflorentine.com, shop from there. It helps with the podcast. You've heard it a million times. I don't like saying it. I'm, I'm annoyed by it, but fuck it. I'll throw it out there in case we got anybody new listening. And it doesn't cost you any money. It comes out of Amazon's cut. All right. And Terrorizing Telemarketers, Volume 6, is in stores. Uh, it's out. It's online. iTunes, Amazon, all that shit. Me and Don James, a new prank phone call CD away for Telemarketers to call and torture them. It hit number two on, a, on the iTunes charts. I was hoping for one, but it fucking stalled at two. I'll take that. I can't complain. Um, I'll play a track at the end here. One more track too. Uh, so if you're interested in that shit, all the web, all the stuff's on my website, jimflorentine.com. You just go to iTunes. All right, let's move on. Let's move up. Let's fucking do this. Um, it's time for awful shirts again. I like to rotate them. You know what one I haven't done in a while is awful baby names, and I have a whole. Uh, inbox folder of awful baby names. I need to do another part of that. So that'll be coming in the next couple of weeks. If you see any awful baby names out there you want to add to, I'll try to get to them. But I haven't done one of those in a while, but that's definitely coming. But I think it's time for the awful shirts because uh, there's a lot of them out there. You know, most of them are just bragging about how people, you know, you work out and also you like to drink. There's jokes on them. Uh, you know, women like to drink wine instead of running. And then basically look how awesome I am because I work out and I have it written on my shirt. How I'm great and you're not. And you better read this so maybe it'll motivate your ass to go work out. I'm hoping that these goofy shirts that are out there. You know, if you're in a Target or Walmart, you just see shit online and you just throw them through the shirts and you see, ugh. Uh, yeah, that was one of like Target. Take a picture. It la- it lasts longer. And it was a picture of a, it was a, a picture of a picture of beer. Just like a, mu- a big mug of beer. Take a picture. It lasts longer. And a picture of beer in the middle. Now, why would anyone buy that shirt? With a guy that drinks a lot of beer. Like, I'm just hoping that these funny shirts are just like gag gifts. You know, when you don't know what to get somebody, you know what, I'll get my fucking crazy aunt a shirt that says, I'm the crazy aunt. You know, like that kind of shit. That's what I'm hoping. You know, when you go into one of those Spencers in the mall, one of those stores, and you see those goofy shirts, like, oh, this would be funny to get them. I'm just hoping that that's where these sales are coming from, and that's why these people are making these shirts up. But, like, what grown-up would want that? You know, like, let's say a guy drank a lot of beer. He was known for that. Take a picture, it lasts longer. Like, why would some guy want to wear that? Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, because I drink beer. Yeah, thanks. Maybe, I don't know. Is that where the sales are coming from? You know, there's a birthday party, so you get him, like, a gag gift, and then you get him a real gift. So you get him a stupid shirt, and then, and then, like, a fucking sweater or something. I don't... I'm hoping that's where it's coming from. And does that person really wear it out? Because they obviously do, because I get a lot of emails from people that take a picture of someone wearing it out and go, look what this asshole is wearing. So they are doing that. Do you just do you just wear it around the house, maybe go to bed? Like, all right, this is a shirt I could just wear in the house. I have those T-shirts where I'm like, all right, this is something I could wear around the house, but I'm not wearing this outside. I hope that's the case with these.
I really do. Because all you're doing is you're like a walk-in advertisement and you just want a reaction from people. You want people to come up to you and go, wow, that's funny. Where'd you get that shirt? That's really funny. Can I ask where you got that shirt? <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you're doing. That's all you're doing. You're wearing a shirt to get a reaction. Like if I wear a concert t-shirt, which, which I wear a lot, like I say a Black Sabbath concert t-shirt, I'm not looking for a reaction. I just like wearing them. I like wearing a friggin' short sleeve shirt, a black shirt. I'm not looking for people to go ahead, come up to me, go, dude, you like Black Sabbath? That's awesome. I am not looking for that at all. It's not a joke. It's just a band that I like, and I just fucking wear the shirt. You know, and, you know, 98 out of 100 people are not going to comment on a Black Sabbath t-shirt that you're wearing. But when you're right, you know, you wear something like, um, there's a shirt with uh, just a, like a, a cartoon of a butt, and there's money, a ha- like a dollar bill sticking out of an ass between the ass cheeks, and it says, my kids think I have money coming out of my, and then it just has the ass with the money coming out of the, the ass cheeks. That you are just looking for, Oh, I know the feeling. (laughs) That's funny. I say that to my kids all the time. Wow, because no one's ever heard of that, that when you're a parent, the kids always want money for stuff, and they try to drain you. That's really rare. I've never heard that. I don't know anyone out there that listens, too. Did you ever hear that, where a parent complains that the the kids cost them so much money, they're always looking for money for this, for that, for the movies, to, you know, go to the mall, sign up for new activity, Want a new fucking lacrosse stick, whatever it is. No one's ever heard of that, right? Oh my God, these kids are costing me a fortune. Every minute I got to get a 20 here, here's a 30 here, here's 40 bucks here. They want to go to dinner with their friends. They want to, you know, I got to pay for the movies. And Wow. Nobody's ever, no, that's never happened before. Nobody's ever talked about before. Can you get any more cliche about that? Yes, we know. Your kids cost you money. You had them. You knew that they were, and that's just the way it's going to be. Oh, here's a great one. Just as as I'm reading this shirt, just picture. Everybody probably knows someone that would wear something like this that I want you to picture that person. Cause I have three in mind right now that I know would wear something like this. The shirt says it's almost like on, on like a piece of paper, the shirt, like a piece of like white loose leaf. And it's written in handwriting. It says, I give a hundred percent at work. And then underneath 12% on Monday 23% on Tuesday, 40% on Wednesday, 20% on Thursday, 5% on Friday. Whew. Yeah. Mm. Do you get it? He doesn't give a lot on Monday. And by Friday, he only gives 5% because he just wants to, the weekend to start. But he only gives certain percentages the whole week, so he doesn't give 100% every day. You get it. Isn't that funny? I mean, would anyone, I guess, would somebody laugh at that? I hear you. <laughs> Tell me about it. I... Oh, okay. So the point of the shirt is, so over the five days of work, percentage-wise, you give 100%, just not every day. Ah, got it. I would love to go up to that person and go, I don't know, what does that mean? Well, you know, because I go, yeah, but 
aren't you supposed to give 100% every day? Yeah, I know, but that's the joke that I don't give 100% every day. So I give a little and I spread it out over the week. I go, oh, where's the joke again? I, I must have missed it. I wasn't paying attention. Well, because I don't give 100% every day. That's the joke that I spread it out over the week that it adds up to 100%. So that's the joke. Oh, wait. So how's that a joke, though? I mean, if he really did that, I mean, wouldn't you probably lose your job that you're not being productive at all? Are you thinking too much into this, man? No, I'm not. I'm really not. I'm just trying to, you know, like if you're going to wear something like that, really fucking back it up. Everybody loves to brag about working out. They brag so much that they put it on a t-shirt. They have to let everybody know. I'm great. I have a I have time to fit in workouts. I'm motivated. I don't know what's going on in your life. I'm not sure, but I just want to let you know that I fucking, I I can work, I can raise a family and work out. So I'm going to put on a t-shirt so everybody to read. Most people want to work out. I'd say 90% of people really want to work out and maybe 50% of them actually do. And there's another 40% that just can't do it for some reason. Whatever the reason is. They'd like to, they just can't. Uh, not enough time, just enough, not enough motivation. They feel bad about themselves. They just don't, can't get motivated to get their ass in a gym. They think it's going to take too long. They tried it before. They pulled the muscle, and they just don't want to go through that again, and they were in too much pain because they did too much shit on the first day, and they couldn't walk for three days after that. Whatever it is, everybody would like to be fit and be in shape. But that 40% out there that just can't do it for one reason or another, you think that this is going to motivate them by wearing this shirt, by wearing a shirt that brags that you wear out? Do you think that they're going to, be, they're going to look up to you, that they're going to be happy that you, that you wore that, that they're going to read that, and that's, what, that's going to be the, the defining moment when they're going to start working out? Like all of a sudden, you know, the wife comes home, the husband, I, I just joined the gym. I'm, I'm starting tomorrow morning. I'm going at least three to four days a week. Really? Where's this coming from? I saw a guy in Wegmans and he was wearing a shirt, uh, a T-shirt that had arrows pointing to his arms. And it said, there's no safety on these guns, which is really a shirt. And I saw that and I go, you know what? I want muscles like that. I want to be toned. And that I read that guy's shirt, and I want to thank him because he, he got me off my ass in the gym. It's not going to happen. People that can't do it are just going to just feel bad about themselves, and they're also going to talk behind your back when they read shit like that 90% of the time. That's what they're going to do. You're going to make them feel bad, rub it in their face. Yeah, yeah I could work it. Instead of just walking around, like if you're in shape and you could see you got some definition on your fucking body, be like, oh, that person works out. Wow, they're in good, they're in good shape. That's all you have to do. You don't have to advertise. It. People can pretty much figure out if you work out or not. And if, you're on, if people are on the fence, like, I don't know if he works out. It kind of looks like he does, but he doesn't. Then you're not working out hard enough. Then you're not really, you know what I mean? You're not at that point where everybody can notice. So you probably should keep it to yourself wearing your fucking T-shirts. Because that's all you're doing. You're making other people feel bad. I'm awesome. How about you? Really, you can't fit a half hour workout in your day. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm just letting you know that I do, and I'm fucking awesome. Every once in a while, there's not a bad shirt. Every once in a while, I don't mind one, and this is one that was sent that I actually don't mind. It says, my parents said I could be anything, so I became an asshole. I really don't mind that one. Because it's offensive. Like if this guy, whoever wore this, wore this out in public, 
and someone saw it, people would get aggravated by it, which I love. And it's not bad. Not bad. Oof. Here's another one about drinking. It says, in dog beers, I've only had one. It really makes you not even want to have a fucking drink. Like, it almost makes you, like, you know, go, I don't even want to have a fucking, I don't even want to drink alcohol anymore after I see this nonsense. I don't want to be lumped in with this. You know, that, that, that's a good one, right? I mean, that's kind of funny, isn't it? Here's another one bragging about the biceps. You don't have to be a plumber to have pipes like these, and then there's arrows pointing at his muscles. Once again, make people feel like shit. Here's a funny one. I play softball to burn off the crazy. Really? How do you, what are you burning off? Like if you're playing softball, what if you uh, strike out twice? You pop up to the pitcher. You pop up to first base. You're not running anywhere. So what are you burning off? You walk out to the field to your position at first base or second base. You walk back. So where's the where where where's the burning off? So just that you run around. You supposedly you run around by playing softball. That means you burn off the craziness. Now all of a sudden you're fine. Why don't you just go for a jog then? Why do you have to play softball? Get on a treadmill for 20 minutes. Burn off the crazy there. Why softball? There's another drinking one. Weekend forecast. Running with a chance of drinking. So, there's a little brag in there that you like to run on the weekends. And then you're probably going to drink afterwards. So, you're pretty much defeating the purpose. Yeah, go run fucking three miles. Burn 700 calories. But then have fucking six fucking uh, craft beers with 160 calories in each fucking bottle. That's good. So, then you're back to square one. Good for you. Yeah, keep fucking running. Twist the fucking ankle while you're at it. Now, this guy's bragging about himself, which is better than kowtowing to what an amazing wife he has. Because those shirts drive me crazy, and there's a bunch of them coming up. This guy's shirt is, My wife is blessed with an awesome husband. I don't like that either. But at least it's coming from the other side. At least it's not like, this man is blessed with the most amazing life. There's a bunch of them coming up that I'll fucking read. So this one is brutal. Guy just bragging about himself, how great he is. But at least it's not the other way around. Isn't it funny? Isn't there enough funny things in this world that everyone has to buy T-shirts to walk around and do that? Seriously, isn't there enough comedy everywhere where you can find it? There's comedy channels. There's there's Netflix comedy section. There's you know, 
You got a whole collection on fucking Apple TV or even DVDs of comedy, your favorite comedies. You got 75 movie channels. Comedies are on all the time. Isn't that enough? Isn't that enough? You're hanging around friends. You're having a bunch of laughs, family, having laughs. Isn't that enough comedy? Do we need more? Do you have to put it on T-shirts now? Because there's a tank top with a, a cat on it, and it says, check me out. M-E-O-W-T. Now, who the fuck would wear that? Check me out. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's a cat meow. Check me out. I got it. Now, what do you want me to do? Tell me. Ugh. Here's a girl's tank top to wear in the gym. It says, oh my quad. Ugh. Oh, yuck. Yuck. Oh my quad. Oh, okay. So you do legs. So your quads are a little sore. Is that what it is? And you just want to let everybody know that you do legs. Oh, here's another one. Aw, this woman decided to have a baby. Can you believe it? And it's work. Did you know that when you have a baby, it's a lot of work? I don't know if you knew that. Like when you have a kid, that all of a sudden, your life gets turned upside down. And there's a lot of craziness. It's a lot of work to raise a kid. I'm surprised people don't know that when they decide, yep, let's have this baby. Because there's a t-shirt for the girls that says, Mommin' ain't easy. Ooh, we didn't know that. We didn't know that me being a mom is tough. We didn't know that. Thank God you wrote that on a fucking shirt and you could walk around. So people, other women could walk by. Yeah, tell me about it. I, I hear you on that one. Wow, where'd you get that shirt? I need one of those. No, you don't. You don't need one of those. Every shirt is pretty much bragging. I'm a great mom. I work out. I have an amazing wife. She's awesome. I'm awesome. What about you? So brutal. Rock out with my guac out. Oh, here's another one. Girl shirt. Jim, G-Y-M, is my new boyfriend. Do you get it? Because it's not J-I-M, Jim. It's the Jim is my new boyfriend. So now she's spending a lot of time in the gym. So J G Y M is my new boyfriend. No, you know who your new boyfriend is? The trainer that you're going to be fucking behind your real boyfriend's back. That's your new boyfriend or some guy that hits on you all the time. And you decide to have a drink with him and you start fucking him behind your boyfriend's back. That's your new boyfriend, not the gym, not the G Y M. It's the trainer that you hired. It's the guy you met in the gym. That's who your new boyfriend is. Maybe you should tell your real boyfriend about your new boyfriend. I get it. So you're starting to feel better about yourself, right? Starting to look better. Getting those few pounds off. Your trainer's encouraging you. Wow, you look really good. Wow, you're doing amazing. And your boyfriend at home doesn't say that. He says, oh, I'm glad you went to the gym. Cool, you're going to the gym? All right, no problem. Yeah, well, push back dinner, whatever you want. No, get your gym session. I know it's important to you. That's not enough support. No, nah, nah, that's not enough. 
need more than that. Because that's what the boyfriend's pretty much saying. Yeah, no problem. Go to, get a workout and we'll go to fucking lunch later. All right, we'll work around it. I know you don't have that much time, so, you know, you like going there and you're feeling good about yourself. Sure. Pretty much doing all the right stuff. Letting you go do it, no problem. Your little hobby that you're into now. And then all of a sudden, the guy at the gym, the GYM, is starting to work you. And saying even more things to how great you look, how amazing you are. Wow, you're one of my best clients. Man, you're picking up. You're right in this. Man, you're way ahead of my other clients. All that bullshit. And then you start fucking him. Yeah, because no trainer has ever fucked another girl that he's trained. He's You're the first one. You are the first. You are the lucky one. He would never do that. He would never sleep with one of his clients. You're actually the first girl I ever actually had a drink with outside of the, the gym. Yeah, right. And you're buying that bullshit. You went to college. You got a fucking four-year degree, and you're buying that bullshit. No, look, I don't mess around with the client. I just, I don't know. I just, there was something about you. I just figured we meet for a drink. That's it, you know. I'm probably crossing the line, but, you know, it's just a drink. It's innocent, right? Ooh. There you go. No, it's just me. He's never done that before. And then when your relationship at home blows up, and then you're stuck with this trainer... And then he's got six other hot chicks coming in the rest of the day. And now all of a sudden you're jealous. Like, wait a minute. If he did that to me, he lured me into the bar to get a drink afterwards. Said he never does that. How do I not know he's not doing it with these six other girls? Who's that hot blonde that just came in that he's training now? I'm just working out. I'm keeping my eye on them. And they're, they're having a blast over there laughing, having fun. Like they're one happy couple. He said, I'm the only one. Who's that girl? She's my tr- she's my new client. What am I supposed to do? I got to be friendly with them. I need the business. That's how you build up business. You're nice to your clients. I'm going to hard on them when they're working, but I got to be nice to them. And, you know, hold the conversation for an hour. You know, it breaks in between. I'm not just going to not talk to her because all of a sudden we're seeing each other. You really shouldn't come here when I'm training somebody else because this is my job and I got to do this. This is what I got to do. It's just like a bartender's got to be nice to people. Nice to the fucking guys that are staring at her behind the bar so she tips well. Well, you don't cross the line, but that's what you got to do. Not so much flirt, but just be nice and friendly and stuff like that. Let them stay. Let them give you a good tip. And now she's sitting at home wondering. And every time that fucking text message goes off on his phone, who's that? It's one of my new clients. She was just telling me she wasn't sure. She's at a restaurant. Should she have the fucking, uh, you know... The pasta, even though it's whole wheat, is it going to be okay? She, why is she texting you at 7 o'clock on a Saturday night? She's at dinner. She just wanted, I told her, if you have any questions about food, what you want to eat because you're really in the training now, let me know and I'll answer it. <sighs> I just don't understand why on a Saturday night. There you go. All because Jim is your new boyfriend. Look at the fucking chaos you caused in your life. No, you're the only one he ever fucked. You're the only one. You're the only client. Never did this before. This is crazy. You know, you're the only one. Believe that. That's a good one. Real smart. Oh, here's another mom shirt bragging about being a mom. I don't know if you guys know there's a new word out there called mom-by, M-O-M-B-I-E, and they put it on a shirt, and they put the definition of it, a a sleep-deprived super mom who feeds on caffeine and survives on sticky kisses and messy smiles. Mombies are multitaskers and suck-it-uppers. Because I don't know if you notice, like, all of a sudden being a mom, like, over the last, like, 20 years or so, um, <clears throat> you don't get a lot of sleep. Did you know that? 
um, you know, uh, sticky kisses. The kids got boogers. I don't know. You know, they're all sloppy. They just ate a fucking ice cream. They didn't wipe their mouth, and they gave you a kiss on the cheek. Uh, messy smiles. They, you know, yeah, they didn't wipe their mouth, and they're walking around, whatever shit they just ate. Um, and they multitask. Do you know these new moms multitask? They actually will cook dinner, and as the dinner's cooking and they set the timer for seven minutes with the pasta, they actually run over to make sure the kid's doing a homework right, and then they go check on, um, you know, a couple of emails from work real quick because they have to answer them. They get back to people by 6 o'clock, and then they um, they set the table at the same time they do all of that while they're cooking pasta. They're fucking multitaskers. Can you believe that? Because our moms never did that. We all know growing up, our moms never did that. They just fucking sat in an easy chair and go, hey, go fuck yourself. You're on your own. I'm not a multitasker. I need my sleep. I don't drink caffeine. You're having a coffin fit in the middle of the night. You might have to go to the ER. Fuck you. I'm in bed. Deal with it. Choke on that phlegm. I don't give a fuck. What do you expect? I'm a mom. I don't do any of that stuff. But these new moms, they're, it's fucking nuts, man. They could do two or three things at the same time and then, write a, and then, and then wear a shirt about it that they're a mom bee. You guys are fucking awesome. You mom bees out there, you are, I, you know... Uh, there should be a Mombies Award, award show for all the moms out there that multitask. It's crazy. It's just nuts that they could do all of that and then put it on a shirt because God forbid... Wow. You don't want to... Is there a Dad B shirt? Because I do that when I have my son. It's weird. Like, I wake up, we got a dog, so. He goes in the living room, and I get his vitamins. He eats his vitamins. Then I bring the dog out really quick. I said, I'm going to go. I walk the dog. I come back in. I make his breakfast really quick. Put that on a plate. Give that to him. Open his drink in the morning to drink. Run back. Make the dog's food, put it down for her, make sure she eats it, run back over to my son, make sure he's eating his fucking breakfast. Then as he's doing that, I put a pot of coffee on. I'm working that, I'm doing that, waiting for that to to brew. And then I'm making his lunch at the same time, so I gotta prepare his lunch. And I'm doing all that. He's asking me questions, Dad, Dad, in between that while I'm waiting for the coffee to brew, I go to his room and I actually get his fucking clothes what he's going to wear that day, and I figure out an outfit he's going to wear, and then I have to put it on him as he's still eating, make sure he's eating, go back, get the coffee, make sure the dog ate. Once the dog eats, i got to give her a couple treats. Then I pour the coffee, put some milk in it, have a couple sips, go back to finish preparing his lunch, Go back and check on my son. Hang with him for like 10 minutes. We'll watch TV. We'll do something. We'll talk. We'll friggin' wrestle, whatever. Then put his lunch in his book bag. Have more coffee. And then I go, hey, we got, I got to brush your teeth. Now I brush his teeth because it's like we got to leave in like two minutes. I put I, now I dress him. I put his outfit on that he's gonna wear. Put his sneakers on. Oh, get your get your coat, buddy. Put his lunch in his friggin' book bag, and we're out the door. That's fucking crazy, right? I'm a dad bee. I'm fucking awesome. I could do all of that stuff. Feel bad for me, please. Feel bad for me because that's what I do in the morning. It's so tough to do all of that. How the fuck do I do all of that stuff at the same time? Run back and forth when my head's still in a fog and it's super early. It's nuts. I got to find a dad B shirt. I really do because I'm fucking awesome. I'm amazing. 
I'm a multitasker. I fuck. I'm sleep deprived. I'm a super dad on caffeine. And I survive on sticky kisses and messy smiles. And I suck it up a lot. Ugh. God. Oh, here's a girl shirt. Yeah, like a lot of girls like this. Girl shirt. Beer, cheese, dip, football. Right. I don't know one girl that's into all four of those. Not one. The football's missing. The beer's missing. One of them. Not all four. You know how when you meet somebody, they tell you that whatever interests you have, whether it's a girl or a guy, that they're interested in it too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I like that. You know, like, you know, a girl go, I love going to wine country and learning about different wines. And, you know, I love just going through a vineyard and stuff like that and just checking out how they make it and sitting there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, I know. That's re- that's interesting. I'm into that stuff too. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I had an ex a long time ago that was into wine and stuff. I really started getting into it and stuff. No, I'm always curious about how, where the grapes come from, how they do it. All fucking bullshit. Really, you would go with a vineyard to me? Of course. Why not? Yeah, I would do that. Why not? That'd be fun. Get to taste wine, get a little buzz at the same time. <laughs> Absolutely. Sit there and drink and sip wine all day. I'm in. All oh, bullshit. They'll do it once. That guy will do it once. And you'll be excited. Oh, my God. This guy wants to go to a vineyard. He's in the wines. That's fucking awesome. We got something in common. He just wants to get in your pants. He's just saying whatever he has to say. And then is that how is it? Isn't it funny? Like now you're three years into dating and you haven't been to a vineyard since the first three weeks. How come? I thought he was into that. I thought he liked that. He's full of shit. Full of shit. Oh, here's a funny shirt. Get ready. This one's really funny. I don't, you know, if you're at your desk or you're wherever, just be prepared. You're going to burst out laughing. So I don't want to, you know. Um, There's a picture of a turkey with just his back showing, his ass showing, and it says, who wants twerky? I'm just trying to figure out who would wear that. Is that for the crazy aunt? And then she wears that like on fucking Thanksgiving. She changes into that. Aunt Mary, let me see. What are you wearing? Oh, who wants twerky? That's funny. That's that's a good one. That's really funny. Why would anyone buy that shirt for anybody else? Okay, so twerky is almost close to turkey, and you show a turkey. All right, yes, yeah, was, calm down, we get it. We get it. Ugh. Ooh, this is a weightlifting shirt. This is a fucking, I go to the gym, I'm bragging shirt. Look, listen. This is all on here on this shirt. In big red letters, it says the iron. And then underneath, the iron is my drug. I don't party every night. I don't get wasted. I don't pop bottles. And now the next thing is in big red letters. I lift weights. I push my body to its limits. Then I push harder. I blast my music. I sweat. I ache. I love pain. And I hate skinny. And then the last one is in big red letters, red letters. Don't judge me. You can have the clubs and the flashy life. I'll take the darkness of the gym all day, every day. 
Wow, you are just awesome. Can we make you the Time Magazine Person of the Year? That you're that dedicated that you don't even go out. You don't drink. You don't have any fun. You don't like to go party. You just like to spend time in the gym. You'll take. I'll take the darkness of the gym. Where, where? What gym is dark? Every gym's the fucking got the worst lighting in the world. It's got the fluorescent lights. You. Everybody looks like shit in there. Tell me what gym is dark. There's never been a gym where I. I can't find a fucking dumbbells, dude. Can you find them? Fuck, I should have brought my phone in here with the flashlight app because I can't find the bench press. Anybody know where that is? Anybody got a match so I could see where I could fucking work my triceps? Can someone light a match for a second so I can find the fucking back machine? All right, dude, that makes no sense on your fucking dumb shirt. There's no darkness in the gym. You can have the clubs and the flashy life. Yeah, that's really flashy. God forbid you go to a club. You know what I mean? You want to go fucking dance. Not that I ever would, but, you know, people want to do that. Have a couple drinks. They had a long week. Yeah, God forbid. I know. Feel like shit. Make this person feel like shit. You know, have a DJ there, you know. Maybe it's a band or whatever, a rock band. You go to a club to go see him, have a couple drinks. Yeah, I know. That's terrible. You're a fucking, what a piece of shit you are. What a piece of shit you are to go see a band on a Saturday night. Maybe it's your neighbor's band. You want to go there for support. Nah, can't do that. Got to be in the gym. He's a good friend of mine. He works his ass off. I'm proud of him that he's playing the club down the street. I want to go there and support. Nah, don't do that. No, yeah, that's a flashy life. That's a fucking flashy life. God forbid you go to a little dance club down the road. Yeah, me and my girlfriend's going to go out dance and have a couple drinks. Have dinner first. I know. What a what pieces of shit you are. Get your shit together, will you? What are you doing? Get your ass in the gym. I push my body to its limit, then I push it harder. Wow, you're fucking wonderful. You are wonderful. You even push it harder. You mean you go to the limit and you push it harder? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Why don't you run for president? Seriously. Someone like this? I mean, if Donald Trump can lead in all these polls with the shit he's saying, and you tell people this is what you do, you push your body to the limit and then push it harder, we want a president like that. Brutal. Just lift your weights and shut the fuck up. Just lift your weights, work out, and mind your fucking business. How about that? Go in there, put your head down, work your ass off, push yourself, whatever you got to do. Just don't put it on a t-shirt. All right? Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's impressed by your fucking shirts. Nobody. Maybe the asshole that's wearing another one that says something stupid in the gym is comparing shirts. That's the only one. Everybody else. Uh, What do we have here? Oh, here's a funny one. Coffee, work, wine. Uh, 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 Yeah, that's my life too. Wow, this is the second shirt that I found where a girl is kissing her husband's ass. Wow, are we turning? Is the society turning where... It's okay to fucking brag about your man? I don't know. Because it says, I may not be rich and famous, but I do have an awesome husband. Wow. Shocking. What's going on? Are the tides turning? Is it okay to say you have a good husband? I mean, you don't have to wear it on a shirt. You really don't. You could tell your friends. You know what he did for me today? Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, I know. That's why I married him. Don't have to put that on a shirt, whatever the fuck it is. (sighs) 
you think this guy is a little full of himself that would wear a shirt like this? Or a girl. I think it could be a girl guy shirt. You think that they might be a little egotistical, maybe a little narcissist. I think a little of both. The shirt says, I don't need a costume. I guess it's for Halloween. I don't need a costume. People want to be me. Would anyone go up to that person and go, wow, I like that shirt. That's a good shirt. Wow, where'd you get that? That's funny. Because it's not even funny. It's just, it's just weird. It's fucking creepy that you think that much of yourself. And I know, yeah, that's just a joke. It's really not because you wouldn't wear it if you really didn't believe it a little. You're just letting everybody know to you how fucking awesome you are. And there should be a costume because you're fucking so great of just you. Someone that wears a shirt like that really has just no self-awareness whatsoever. None. Like maybe, ah, I don't know if I should wear this, man. People are going to really think I'm a fucking dick. Because that's what they're going to do. Just a dick. What do we got here? Huh, this is a really funny one. Beer doesn't ask silly questions. Beer understands. Ugh. Now here's a girl's shirt. Sweatpants, messy bun, no makeup, just chilling. Yeah, we could tell. You don't have to wear that shirt. We could tell. We see what you're wearing. We see what a fucking, you know, what you're looking like. We get it. They just rolled out of bed or whatever it is. You don't have to put that on a shirt. Here's a girl shirt. Drama mama. Yeah, I, I would picture like a drama queen wearing a shirt like this. says something like that. Some actually, some drama queen chicks actually know that they're actually drama queens. Like, yeah, I'm a drama queen. I admit it. A lot of them do. Well, why don't you go get help? Why don't you see if you could fix that? Because it just annoys the, the shit out of everyone around you. You might want to look into that. Instead of going out and buying a shirt and let everybody know, maybe you should just fucking work on yourself. You think? Well, uh, you know, look, man, maybe um, maybe I'm wrong because there's another girl bragging about her boyfriend on a shirt. This girl has a smoking hot and awesome gaming boyfriend. And yes, he bought me this. <sighs> maybe both sides are afraid. Like I've said before, both sides are afraid of losing the other person because there's so much temptation out there and everybody's trying to get out. Everybody. And fuck up their relationships. You're getting it from every social media source. You know? That people are really insecure. Both sides are. So you you got to wear shirts like that. Because that's what this is about. This shirt was in a Target. It says, Fantasy Football Legend. Fantasy football. So you're a legend at fantasy football. Could this guy be any more of a fucking nerd? This is the guy that just talks about fantasy football. He's probably the commissioner of the league that runs everything and decides where they're going to have to draft. And which, you know, fucking Applebee's or uh, Ruby Tuesdays are going to rent out the back of the room to have their draft. 
this is a fantasy. That's the fantasy football legend. Ugh. I'm a fantasy football legend. Well, I found a shirt where the guys are fucking bragging about their wives again. I'm a proud husband of a freaking awesome wife. Wait a minute. There's more to this. There's fine print underneath. Oh, oh, okay. And yes, she bought me this shirt. Okay, guy. Okay, so I got to wear it because I got no balls. I have no say in the marriage. I have no say whatsoever. You know, look, man, I just don't want to piss her off. She wants to, me to wear this around. I'll wear it. Sounds like a good relationship. You know what I mean? It really does. Listen, I want you to wear this, okay? I bought this to tell everybody how fucking awesome I am. All right, so put this on. That's a good relationship. You know what I mean? That really is. That's that's really going to work out. She's not going to have... She, she won't lose respect for you. Why would she? Yeah, I put that on him. I made him wear that. Oh, thanks, Mom. That's a guy that needs a mommy. That's a guy that needs a mommy as a woman. He fucking... He moved out and he needs a mommy to take care of him. So, okay, Mommy, you want me to wear this one? Yeah, wear this shirt tonight. Lay it on the bed for me. Okay, Mommy, just like when I was a kid... You laid out my clothes for school. What do you want me to wear? Sure. I don't want to make you mad because I want a fucking treat at the end of the night. Maybe I'll get my ice cream, so let me be a good boy. Whatever shirt you want me to wear, I'll wear. You want me to wear this horse shit on the, sh- on the shirt? No problem. I hope you give me sex later, Mommy, because I, uh, I kissed your ass and wore this, and everybody made fun of me at the party we went to because I'm wearing this kind of shirt, but... It's okay. Yeah, she bought it for me. Now, here's a funny one. This, I guess, is for like a fat guy to wear to cover up that, you know, he's overweight. I'm not fat. I'm cultivating mass. Ah, okay, okay, that's, okay, that's, I get it. No, dude, you're a fat fuck. You're not cultivating mass, you're fucking fat. And you don't have to wear a t-shirt to let us know. When I can't get by you in the fucking supermarket aisle and I don't even have a cart, I know you're a fat fuck. All right. That's it. Send in more because this will never end and it shouldn't. Fucking Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and go fuck yourself. I don't know what else to say. Just don't wear any corny shirts, please. Just, just live your lives. That's it.